Hey guys, this is Port Spines and I am here to do another flip through and this is like, obviously you guys don't know because <laughs> you won't unless I tell you, I am like doing all this filming today. So I've got call videos and flip throughs and speed colors. <laughs> so I guess today is the day of the video. Anyway, on to what we are here for. Dominion of Giants coloring book. It's Bohemians of Fantasy by Eric Messinger. And, oh, and of course now, because I'm filming on my phone, I can't find it. But if you go over and look on Instagram, somebody had posted one of the images in here to my hot guy summer for poet hashtag. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, I need to go hunt this book down because this book is funny. So I went to go look at a video on YouTube and then I went to go find it. And so I got it on Amazon dominion of giants it is not there are no double images so i'm like yay because i don't like them so let's go ahead and get into it i'm right for hot guy summer hot guy summer so <laughs> not your typical hot guy summer book right but totally fun so there's some information here about the artist and so forth like that they've got the magic color wheel in the book which Actually, I have found it's kind of helpful when you're trying to find some colors and you don't want to do stuff the same all the time. Because I tend, I don't know if anybody else is like me, I tend to fall into my favorite colors, which are going to be your blues and purples, and over here, and then over here. So, you know what I mean. So I'll do pictures like this, or pictures on this side, and it's just interesting to find some new color combinations. They've got some color terminology that they're giving you some hints on here. They show you how to color a face with markers um, and they go from dark to light. And this is one way to do it. And then like I do my coloring in a different way because I tend to do uh, light to dark, but you can do it. You do whatever works for you. So here's the technique. You do the one that works for you. Okay, so then it says coloring the rest of the face and they give you some tips. You've got tips and tricks. They give you some blending information and they've given you the artwork and how it was digitally colored. So you can see that. Now, here's the thing. I just want to make this clear because you've got these two things here. So this tells you that shows you that this is digital to digitally colored, okay? And then I know that there's people out there talking about, oh, I don't want to do this or it intimidates me because I know I can't get my stuff to look like this. Well, I just want to point out that it is very rare that you are going to get get one medium to look like another medium, okay? Whether you are the best artist in the world with that medium or not. So these are digital colorings. The likelihood of you getting a pencil to look like a digital is astronomically low, no matter how good you are, because they're two different mediums. Same thing with pencils and alcohol markers. They are not the same. So something with alcohol marker is going to look different than something done in pencil. Watercolor, gouache, yada, yada, yada. So just to put that out there, okay, don't try to compare yourself to get your artwork to look like this if you're doing pencil, because this is digitally colored. Same thing with the Thomas Kincaid pieces. Those were paintings, like I believe he does oil. I could be wrong, but I believe it's oil painting. So you are not going to get pencil, pencil work, to look like an oil painting, okay? All right, so let me get off my little horse and move on. So they give you other colorings for the image. So this was the image that the person put, and I can't remember who it was, but you know who it was because I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. So definitely looking like the hot Viking guy right here, right? Yeah. So I was like, mm, let me go find this book. Now, he's not so hot, but maybe he's hot in a Cyclops world. I don't know. <laughs> but look at this. See, you could tell that this was pencil, right? And there's no way you're going to get these two to look the same. Okay. All righty then. Got some pencil here. So you got all these works done. And I believe they do every image. There's, I believe. Because there's not a ton of images in here. All right. So then we've got, and see, they tell you it's color with pencils. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. 
So you've got him. Basically, it's single-sided once you get to the artwork. They do have on this side the name. So a dragon is not a well, it's a quote. A dragon is not a slave. So that would be over here. And then it says Gareth and Maul, the dragon of Gar of the Dragon Guard. Okay, let's try to figure out what that says. It. So it's down here. And then you've got some little lines. So you could make some little notes or whatever you wanted to right there. So you could have like a, a journal part going on here. <coughs> All right. So you've got that. There's this one. And then like each each page has a little blurb. Now I probably will never color these. That's just like a waste to me. But there's old dude. So you can see how they were colored. Which I think is a good thing as well. Even if it weren't full pictures. Because then you could see what things are. Because sometimes you get books with a lot of detail. And you can't tell what is going on. Because you're like what the heck. So like this one. He is a mountain trophy hunter. Okay so he's a mountain trophy hunter. And since this is a fantasy creature you're trying to figure out what's going on here so when I'm looking at this up to here is pretty see up to here it's pretty straightforward you got an arm you got some chest you got some hair going on this looks like some feathers or additional hair you can tell this is a wolf so once you get about here things start to go a little weird okay so here where you would expect legs to go straight down it takes a minute to realize that he has like backwards legs. So kind of like maybe caddish, maybe like wolfish legs. So they're not straight down. So it's kind of difficult, like what's going on? So this is where his knee bends back behind this leg. And then this is the front leg here coming down. So there's cloth for the knee. And then over here, you've got a little bit of cloth and then it kind of goes to like fur. And then you've got the rest of his foot, which is like in some kind of snow and like that piece back there, snow. So it is good that they have some of those little colorings so you can actually figure out what the heck is going on. So you've got this one, his little nose. <laughs> it's like, how can you smell with that nose? Okay. Then you have some of them that have this little color palette at the bottom which obviously you don't have to use but it is kind of cool that they give you here's five colors and then here's what that colored image looks like so you can do this whole thing with five colors or not <laughs> same thing here and then they do one here so you've got the image with your color palette and then it gives you the little coloring there so I like how they mixed it up. So some have the color palette, other ones don't. It's basically, it's like there's a cut in there. Single sided. It's kind of cool. So yeah, like it could be a little confusing as to like, what is this extra? Okay. So sneak peek, here's the one I'm working on. This is a buddy color between myself and Pixie. So I got that one going on. Sneak peek. Then you got, let me move that out of the way. So then you've got this one. And so here, see you've gone back to, there's no color palette down at the bottom. So then the image can be a little bigger. But always you have the information on this side. Like I'll probably, I don't know. There's no point in coloring that to me. So this is kind of cool. So we can use this for pirate. Mm -hmm. He looks like he's about to fall over backwards. <laughs> fairyland. So I guess he's a hot half bald fairyland guy. <laughs> Look at that nose. What is that? And a nose ring. Like how many how much ugh. you see those noses? Now can you imagine that thing having a cold? 
How many boogers are going to fly out of there? Ew. <laughs> I do like that they have a few females in here. But that it's mostly guys. <laughs> so this is kind of cool. Do you have some kind of, who is she? Elephant totem giant. Yeah, she's kind of giant. All right. <laughs> so funny. Bludgeoner and bone blade. So I guess it's like two creatures together. And there's our hot fella, our hot Viking. Yep, had to go get this book. So funny, so funny, so funny. And then this is crazy. <laughs> It looks like a minotaur and it is nasty looking tongue. Ooh. Ooh. Don't want to get a kiss from that. And then you have this one. So cool. And then you go back here and you got a few more little colored images. So definitely a cool book. It says also by Eric Messer fantasy adventure I think I did look up at that look that up real quick but I might have to go back and look at it all right thanks for watching hope you guys had fun see you later don't forget to like subscribe and share get my videos out there to other people if you have channels that you think I should check out just leave those in the description box as well or the comments below Bye. So, hi guys, and thanks for watching. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. And be safe, be blessed, and, you know, enjoy yourself, and don't put up with crap. Bye!